Well, I mean, the stats, over a, a third of marriages, one or both partners admit to cheating. Um, <coughs> almost half, 45 per cent of British men admit to straying from their significant other at least once, and a considerable 21 per cent of UK women say say the same. So for you, how does it work? We know that this is a, this is a website founded in 2003 by Stephen Lyons. We had him on here in 2011. He sparked a massive debate, yeah. especially on Mum's Net. Um, so, uh, so how does it work for you? How do they find you? How do you find them? And then what? Goes yeah, on. that's that's a, that's a great question, I think, because, I mean, I'm, I'm not out there stewing my girlfriend's husbands. That's 100% not what this is about. I mean, the website was set up for the purpose of married people finding a lover. To cheat. And to, to, to have an affair, yeah. And, um, or cheat, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, when someone does something intentional, I mean, I could be held accountable for destroying marriages. And I understand people who aren't familiar with the situation will judge it that way. But this is someone who's gone on this website because maybe they haven't had sex with their spouse for five or 10 years, or they have a spouse who's handicapped. There are people I've met before on the website that have an arrangement or an agreement with their spouse. I've met men and said, listen, my wife knows I do this. I have a budget for it. Um, she's gone off sex or she's never liked sex. And that's possible. You could be married to someone wonderful, have kids with them and have a great life. You just don't like sex. Why don't you just sleep with single men? I don't really, I have to be honest, after having been on this married dating site and going on dates with married men, I find it a lot easier. There's a lot more respect. They treat me better. I, I live an active life. I, I think in the next 20 days, I'm in eight cities on three continents. And, and this did is they my, pay for all of this? No, it's my business. It, I, as a businesswoman, this is what I'm doing. And so, you know, Sunday's a work day for so me. So business, is this a separate business or is... Or this is, isn't a business at all. This is just my, my private life. Right, OK. So yeah. that not there is no financial arrangement No. There. I mean, if I'm going to fly somewhere to meet someone and I'm not already travelling there, of course I would expect them to pay for my flight, but it's, it's nothing more than that. And, uh, and so some of these men um, will go to extraordinary lengths to keep their meetings with you uh, mm -hmm. secret. Um, uh, it, tell me about the New York man. As they should. Oh, gosh. Well, you know... Any of the men I have relationships with, I, I make it very clear when I first start dating them that if you're considering separation or you're going to divorce your wife, I'm not going to start an affair with you simply because I don't want to be held accountable for that and I don't want to deal with the backlash of that. Have you ever had that happen? I have and I, I ended it immediately. Mm. I've had it happen more than once. Do you feel guilty, though, with that? I mean, the one a no, marriage ends. I was honest. No, I was honest with them from the beginning. This is strictly an affair. I'm not looking for anything more than an affair. And, you know, if you are going to leave your wife... What about if they have children? I mean, I know we talk about the wife and no. that, that maybe she doesn't want to have sex, but that is still the, the father, mother. You're, you're, that potentially could destroy a family unit, regardless of whatever's happening in the parents' bedrooms. It's a family, isn't it? I mean, there's more to That's it. True. There's more to a marriage than just... Oh, there's, there's everything. I mean, uh, marriage is... But that must it. not feel right, then, if you... That must... Inside, there must be a little bit of you that goes, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this, because there are children there, there are... There is a potential for this to go horribly wrong. Well, I, I agree with what you're saying. However, someone who makes a concerted effort to go onto a dating website like IE is basically going on there for the purpose of having an affair. If it's going to be me or someone else, it's their choice. They need to have their wits about them. And, and anyone who gets involved with me is logically thinking. We go for a nice lunch, we have a proper talk, and if we want to start an affair, we say, listen, this is how it's going to be. And, mm -hmm. you know, their wife and their kids is their business. My family is my business. And, you know, Anybody who's in a relationship decides what they share and what they don't share with the person they're involved with. Well, we're talking about the New York thing. This is that you went to New York. A guy was there with uh, with his wife. He said he was going out on fishing trips. You were ten miles down the road in another mm -hmm. hotel, and he's coming down to see you. You know, sort of th three times whilst uh, whilst whilst he was there. Mm -hmm. And so this is all clandestine. There's a lot of he was hiding it from it. There was nothing open about that. He mm -hmm. was actually hiding that yep. affair. Uh, so um, so. You also say that um, that you've saved marriages as well. And has there been proof that that someone's come to you and says, "Thank goodness for you, yeah, you've you've once. saved my marriage." More than once, I've had men say, "Really, it's it's just the huge." Oh, more than one man I've been with has said that, that having an affair with you has made our home life so much more relaxed. That's taken the pressure off the wife, who maybe after 25, 30 years marriage, they're. They're not in him anymore, and he only has sex with his wife on his birthday and Christmas or their wedding anniversary, or if she goes shopping, and then he knows, oh boy, and then and she's miserable doing it. She just doesn't want to do it anymore, and you know, 
I think in marriage, I mean, I've been married. Marriage is very challenging. Mm -hmm. You can be with the most wonderful, loving person, but after 25 years, you've hung from the chandeliers, you've done all the crazy stuff, and it's hard to keep it spicy and exciting.